gaming today we are trying out the most uh, interesting little early access game it's called alchemy garden it's pretty much about making potions farming and things like that it's a very early access situation so do bear with me so i'm just gonna leave it like alchemy garden like that just because i have a uh, lapses of whatever they want to call it to be honest with you <coughs> Okay, so let's see this. So the first thing we see immediately as we start the game are Some kind of horrible faces. I'm not gonna lie. This 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 doesn't look amazing at the moment But then again, we're not judging it's an early access. So I'm gonna give him the benefits of the doubt and just uh, Actually play the game and create a character no judging until we are actually complete uh, Well, at least we're playing some correct versions at least okay so they have different color of hair with jesus christ that's kind of shiny extremely but uh, i don't really like any of the hair they look they look very weird on on the on the model of the player i don't know why it looks weird oh, that just looks like a dick right there ah miss i guess yeah sure we can go ahead with dick head i don't really care we're gonna name her easy I guess that's like okay and I'm just gonna finish this or red yeah fuck it is red okay so my opinion got quite decent transition okay we have question marks go to back to save progress finish the day and recover your energy okay pretty classical gameplay okay let's see okay there's quite a lot of different change the wallpaper things Okay, that's very nice. I can just change it. That's actually quite decent. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, we actually have another store. Welcome to your house. At the moment, it's somewhat empty, and both walls and the floors are not at the best. But don't worry. With some work and enthusiasm, you can repair the house and decorate it as you like. Turn this filthy house into a beautiful alchemy shop. <coughs> Sorry. Okay. So ooh, look, we have tables and things. Okay. Shop table. At the table, you can place your product for sale. You can sell potion, plants, and minerals. At the moment, you only have a table but you can upgrade it okay touch the bell to open your shop from the moment on kinds of customer will enter your establishment some of them will find what they are looking for however others will make special requests you can close and open your shop at any time but keep in mind that we'll not be able to leave once you open the shop okay that makes sense oh we also have something about potions right there on the oh wait a second i can change the floor as well damn there's quite a lot of options from uh, for floor changing i'm not gonna lie that's that's actually quite a lot of them. Oh, the stone green one looks like hot. Okay, let's see. Use the alchemy table to craft your own potions. To do this, you'll need three types of plants. Experiment with combinations to discover new recipes uh, to offer to your customer. Okay. Let's open it. Okay, that's my inventory. Okay, we also have a shop book. Let's see. Oh, so it shows the house integrity, clan satisfaction, and the sales we did that day. Okay, that's pretty nice, pretty nice. Let's open the alchemy table as well. We have something of a healing potion on the right. I'm guessing we only have the ingredients. I mean, we have the recipe for it, but we cannot make it because, again, we have nothing. So, okay, that makes sense. Wait a second. So, having a... Uh, okay, so we have an... Uh, basement as well oh, that's interesting we can make that like the crafting room with chests and things so it not fill the store because this is our main store okay let's see outside i mean it doesn't look that actually bad like graphically speaking it's not horrible they definitely need a better tutorial than just floating fucking signs Okay, welcome to Alchemy Garden. Dear Alchemy, it's a pleasant to you have settled near Rosero Village, certainly quite peaceful life. You can read that if you like, I'm not just gonna read the entire intro because it's pretty much, hey, thank you for uh, going into this. The beginnings are difficult, it's pretty much like anything, and they give you the tools so you cannot actually do anything. So, have reviewed about the presence of dragons, the nearby area, pretty much, so it just says that ongoing days potions healing potions are very well received in the shop the moment we found out how we make them okay welcome to your own garden here you can plant all kinds of plants decorate the garden to your liking all you need is a hoe some seeds and a watering can okay we can also expand the shop by buying 
plots. Okay, let me just look at this copper, copper, copper hole, copper axe. Okay, let me just quickly put them in my inventory right here. The main inventory is kind of, I mean, small, let's say. But okay, now let's just try and, oh, interesting. So it has like a grind uh, grid fixture, which is quite nice actually. Okay, let's test it out at any game. And I also see we have some uh, energy down there. Okay, that's actually quite nice, even though they took like the easiest way to do these sort of things, which is literally on the like the legs of the character, so it's not moving where you're looking, it literally stays on you, so you cannot actually move it like say somewhere around here and then press it and do it. Okay, just gonna do like a couple more. Yeah, I think that's decent enough. Okay. Oh, what the what's that? Okay, so we can buy a plot of land right here for 2,500. Okay, that's nice. Okay, 4,000, 5,000, 5,000, 5,000. Okay, so this is quite like a largest property if you actually buy them, uh, like buy all the terrain right here. Expensive, but very profitable. Okay, seems we have some roses right here. I think they're roses. Yep, the roses, and I'm guessing 100% is for the health potion, I don't know why, but generally the first thing you find in the game is for the first thing you need. Okay, so a small tree to chop, let me just quickly get this rose as well. And let me just quickly equip the axe, and let's see if we can... Okay, so you cannot destroy big trees. I'm just double checking. Okay, so you get wood, I'm guessing, or something else, let's see. Okay, so we get wood from the small trees, we cannot cut like the large trees or things like that. Double checking again. Yeah, no, 100% not. Oh, this looks very nice on the riverside, yeah, it looks very cute. Okay, so there's no animation or anything like that, you just literally, it's like the water is not there. Again, early access, all good. <coughs> Let's see the next little point. Explore the surrounding to discover new plants and materials for experiment. Every day new plants appear. You can discover a great variety during the passage of seasons. Okay, so this game also has seasons, which is quite very nice, I'm not gonna lie. Let's see if we can mine this stone. No. How about this? How about this one? Okay, no. So I'm guessing... I'm just gonna look a little more at a couple of more just in case. Okay, so I'm guessing you cannot mine just... Yeah, you cannot mine them, so we need to find some sort of rock, like, um, the twig, so we can, um, so we can actually mine something. It's probably gonna be a cave somewhere around here, or something like that, or just random buckets everywhere, or we shall see either way. Okay, let's just continue on this uh, path right here, and the animation is mm, decent, not horrible. Okay, so we have a calendar by pressing J. Oh look, we have uh, some sort of pop special item shop and Springfield Festival. Okay, we also have assignments, explorers, rider potions used by warrior, it's only healings and things. Okay, we also have a little plant discovery situation, so you know exactly what they are. As you can see, it's it, true love never hurts. A little uh, description of the situation and the element of that particular plant, which is very nice actually. Okay, let's go down this road and... what the f... Did we just get... Also, it's not semi-open world, it's like... Split into... Different zones. Okay. See, there's a town right here. Let me just quickly see what is this right here. I think it's a watermelon. Oh yeah. Okay, that's a strawberry. Of course, it's a strawberry game, come on. Not a moron, you can definitely tell what, what that is. Okay, can we talk to her? Hey, stay. Grandma, stay on the spot, I want to talk to you. Good morning, talk, let's see. Sometimes I dress the caker with rose petals because it gives them a special touch. Okay, so it's random things. From the signboard, you can accept orders from the Rosewall village. You will have a few days to be able to deliver the order, and if you deliver it in time, you'll be rewarded. Making orders is another valuable way of earning money apart from selling the product in the store. The orders appear occasionally and may vary over time. Ah, so it's pretty much a quest board. Oh, okay, let's see. So it ends on Wednesday 3rd and he wants a healing potion. 
Okay, nothing available. Come back tomorrow. Okay, so now it says right here. Uh, okay, so we have like three days to give this potion. Actually, two days besides today. Okay, let's see. There's another check mark right here. In the village, you will find some shops where you can buy all kinds of products. Seeds, clothes, tools, and even furniture. Okay, perfect. We definitely need some seeds, but we don't actually have money for it. So let's see how many seeds do they have. Okay, they have some trees, some tulips, some roses. Let's see our tools. Okay, so we can buy a variety of tools here as well. That's very nice. Decorative as well. Okay, that's quite some decent as decorative, I'm not gonna lie. Some of them look very nice, especially the witchy, the witch planter and witch item related. I don't know why I like that. Oh, even the witch fence looks fucking awesome. Oh yeah, we're gonna have an amazing shop. Okay, one second, I think, yeah, there's another dude right here. Also, it's a furniture vendor, so this dude also have tools. Okay, that's, that's actually very good to know. Copper, iron, stone, okay, let's see utility, so they have a workbench, chests, different type of chests for, I'm guessing, the different type of style you want to go with uh, your shop and your house. Okay, the witch wardrobe looks very nice as well. Okay, so this is like the shop, part of the shop, so to get more tables and things for your own, uh, for your own I guess shop is like the most logical thing, even the, oh, the sweet cabbage looks amazing, even the sweet cottage uh, bed right here looks amazing, I'm not gonna lie. Let's see the other one right here to see where exactly it's going, decorative way of speaking is very nice. Okay, that looks very nice. Okay, decorative as I was saying looks very nice. Yeah, they actually look very on point, I'm not gonna lie, they look very nice, they look very clean. They look very aesthetically pleasing, at least I level of things, let's say. The witch table as well is very nice, the witch garden bench, <laughs> the witchy shelf, nature table. So yeah, you can literally go for a very different style of uh, shops, which is very nice. Okay, they also have lights horns things oh yeah yeah i mean they they do actually have a lot of things implemented for an early access cannot wait to actually try some of them i will try to actually buy the crafting table because generally by the woods is probably something that you can craft 100 percent instead of buying them okay roses another rose right here okay so let me just check the other houses as well to see if this is just literally only a shop okay Patchy gold beard style. Let's see, buy clothes. Okay, they look very nice. <laughs> look at the cat one. Looks very nice, very witchy, and then some sort of adventure style. Yeah, that looks very nice. Let's see, pants as well. Okay, decent amount of clothing. Decent amount of clothing. A couple of shoes. Yeah, it's decent, it's decent. Okay, let's see. Oh, this dude has a mission. Or something for us, let's see. I want to change my appearance, let's see what we can do here. Okay, so we can just change our appearance if we, like, are sick of the appearance we did earlier and maybe want to change something. Okay. Let's click on retrieve items. I'm glad you accepted the order. Bring me the items and I'll give you a reward. What order and what items are we talking about? Talk the tranquil of the village. Okay, so that's not something that... Uh, Make about his order. Mm. Oh, I think... I actually don't know, I'm gonna leave him here for the moment. I mean, maybe he wants the healing potion, I didn't actually spend too much time reading the notebook, so it might be 100% the... The healing potion will uh, come back to this later, purely because we still don't know exactly how to make that healing potion at the moment, and we're just... Um, Exploring, let's see the pineapple. I don't know exactly what we can do with them. I'm guessing like the roses and things we can probably make potions out of it. I don't think the pineapples and things we can make potions out of, but again, we can just look and see. Maybe we can eat them, maybe we can sell them. Even though I don't think we can eat them, even though we have energy right there, but uh, I don't know. We shall see. Let me just, uh, let's just explore a little around here just to make sure we didn't miss anything. 
because I don't know if we miss something today, maybe tomorrow it will, instead of like despawning and getting something else, you will still have the same thing and you pretty much rust of a new item. Maybe worst case scenario, I literally, I have no idea to be honest with you. Okay, the small tree is right here. Let me just quickly cut it out as well. The... Yeah, I don't think we're gonna actually open the shop on the first level. I wanna actually have like at least like two or three potions to... To actually sell proper so we can see how the mechanic works. But uh, right now we're just uh, figuring out how the game actually works completely. Where exactly we can go. How big the game is and uh, so on so on. Okay, so this is our house right here. Let's quickly go inside and see if we can actually make a potion or something like that and see how this mechanism works. Okay, so if we click on the healing potions, okay, so it put three roses in there. Let's see the brew options. Okay, oh, oh, I need to. Okay, so I need to actually smash them down. Double smashing them, throwing them in the pot. And then pressing E, let's see, oh Jesus Christ, that was literally just two times pressing E. I'm guessing I cannot burn the potion, it's probably just gonna take longer, that's about it. Okay, healing potion, perfect. Okay, let's quickly make another potion right here. We're gonna have one to quickly go down to the town and uh, get our first reward. And one to put in the shop to sell for later usage, let's see. Okay, that's perfect. We got two of them. Okay, we only have one more rose left, so we cannot actually use it. Let's try the counter table to see exactly how it looks. Okay, let me just... Healing potions, yeah, 75, that's pretty decent. Uh, we're just gonna sell one, purely because we don't actually have more than two, so... We need one to give back to that dude in town or that girl, I don't know. We shall see when we reach it back. Okay, looks very nice, 3D-ish over there, I, I, I quite like it, I appreciate it. Okay, let's quickly run back to the town and see who do we need to get, uh, give this potion to. That's like the most important part, to be honest with you. Okay, the running is very decent. It's more, it looks more like a Lego type of situation, the running and how it moves. Okay, so we cannot get, so we cannot give it back through that or send it through mail or anything like that. Okay, I have a great idea. How about we try this dude again? Maybe this one is the one who ordered it. Have you got the items I need? Sort, here you are. Oh, perfect. And we got $150. Yeah, so this was the dude. So they have little exclamation marks if they're, um, they made the request on the board. Okay, let's quickly grab every single seed we have right here in the shop. Okay, they only have two seeds. And it seems the shop resets every week. So Monday. But the first, like, only... I mean, they're very cheap, but they're only like two, one, what the fuck is this? Come on, I want to buy more than just one or two. I want to start like a giant gardening thing. Okay, no, we we already gone through that list, so it doesn't matter. Uh, okay, it seems it's getting actually dark in the game. I can actually see my shadows and things. That is very nice, very ambient, let's say. I'm jumping is pretty decent as well. The loading is pretty fast. You don't actually need a, like a overpowered computer to play this and enjoy it. Uh, okay, let's uh, plant some things and see how that will work. Okay, so you press E and then you decide what you want to plant. Okay, it seems there are some little things growing out of the ground, which is very nice. It's not just a seed. Okay, let me just place this. We're gonna try and actually place everything so we can uh, have a decent garden. I'm not gonna place the tree right here because I don't know how big it will get. Maybe around... You know what, fuck this, I'm gonna plant it literally up here, maybe if it grows big enough, maybe we have a giant tree and we can have a great aesthetic of this uh, whole shop, let's say. Okay, let's go with the tree seed. Damn, oh, look how cute that little tree seed is. Looks very nice, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, let's see with the watering can how exactly it's going. Oh, Jesus, that's nice, but whoa. Oh, okay, it's wobbly as fuck. What's happening here? So it needs to still be water. Let's see if we get like next to it and just hold it like this. Okay, so yeah, you need to be like in front of it and it's gonna say water itself and it's gonna change the color of the dirt. Yeah, the watering can definitely need the, 
the watering plants definitely needs more improvement. It's just wonky as fuck. I mean, it's a funny little mechanic, but it's still wa very wanky. Oh, okay, let's go in the river. Okay, so we cannot just grab it from here. We need to literally dip ourselves into the imaginary water because generally you're supposed to have an animation over there, but whatever. Okay, we watered every crop we have. We still have a lot of energy, if I'm not mistaken, there were like three paths, so there were like one in the town Or two paths, I don't actually remember, let me just go ahead and look, so we still Yeah, so we have a, another path that, oh, good, another rose, maybe we can make another potion Okay, let's go through, let's go to this area, oh, another pineapple Okay, that's very nice Okay, so if we go down this path, we should be able to find another area, if I'm not mistaken. I really hope so. Okay, we're kind of going... I don't think we're going... We're going a circle, or...? Yeah, that's literally our house right there. Okay, so I, I probably went on the wrong path. Okay, wait, yeah, let's, 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 let's just keep going forward and see what exactly that will take us. Okay, so it took us back, that's where we came from, and here it's another path, let's... Yeah, let's fuck it, let's go on this path and see exactly what we can find on this path. So, it splits again, but this time I think... Oh, yeah, there's something right... Oh, yeah, there, there is something I actually hear. And because it's getting dark outside, uh, we're also seeing very darkish ooh, behaviors. Damn, this is a swamp area. It looks very nice, I'm not gonna lie. It actually looks... Yeah, I like this. Let me try to see if I can steal something. Oh, can... I'm guessing these are not something you can steal. <coughs> oh, my back. Oh, that, that actually looks very nice, I'm not gonna lie. Let me try and actually steal something. Nope, you cannot own those. Probably there's something specific we can take from here. I'm just gonna try to take the lights. <laughs> I wish I could take the lights. Okay. Mm-hmm, so let's keep going down this path. There's something here. Oh, look, there's another plan right here. Okay, perfect. Let's look at that uh, house right there and then we're gonna move away from this area because it's too dark to see anything in the middle of the night. Is that another shop for sale? Oh, so we can have a uh, so we can have another shop. Let's just look at it a little and then we can go back to our house because it's too dark to see things. Okay, it's for sale. We cannot go inside of it. It looks very nice. It has a... Uh, oh, something there as well. We have a, like a giant ass space in the background. That's fucking nice. Okay, we're back at the house now. Uh, I'm uh, quickly gonna plant some things we just found again and then watering them Like this Yeah, so I got the hang of the watering. It's not that complicated. It's just mm, a little wobbly Let's say and you need a little bit of uh, finesse with it, but you can definitely do it properly Let's see if we can make another potion We have five so We can make another potion perfect. Let's quickly make another brewing of the special potion Okay, perfect. I really like the color in this and just uh, the way the aesthetically looking. I mean, I, I really do enjoy it. Okay, I just actually placed it on the counter on the other spot. Okay, it doesn't work on the same one unless you, I'm, I'm guessing, you, unless you put like two or three in the same time. That means we need to remove it. Either way, thank you very much for watching and be prepared for the second episode. We'll be starting selling things. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe or even comment what you like about this game or if you want more gameplay about this. Thank you for watching. Peace.